In this video I'm going to show you how you can add a 35mm film slide frame as a border around a photo. I'm going to be using Photoshop um, Creative Cloud for this but you can do the same thing in the previous Creative Suite versions of Photoshop. So this is what it will look like when we're finished. So to start off with open your photo in Photoshop and then because this is a full size image we, there's no point working with the full size image so we'll resize it down before we start working. I'm just gonna set this to 640 pixels wide for this video. Pop OK on that. Then hitting Control and Naught on the keyboard, choose sorry, Control and One. We will bring it up to full size on this. Control and Naught fits to screen, but because I've got quite a small image here, I want to view it at 100% um, on a Mac rather than Control its Command and Naught or Command and One. So we've got it resized. Now the next thing we want to do is change the size of it. So if we go to Image image size. Now we want to untick resample. We're not actually um, really changing the size here, we're just setting the size. Change the measurement to millimeters and then we want 36 millimeters width. That's the same size as a piece of 35 millimeter film. And you can see here because my photo is the same aspect ratio as a 35mm piece of film. The height is automatically filled in as 24. Um, if you're using a slightly different aspect ratio image then that might be slightly different. If you were using a portrait um, orientated image rather than a landscape one then you'd want to set the height to 36 rather than the width. So the important thing here really is that I've unticked resample so it's going to put OK and as you can see that doesn't do anything which is good. The next thing we want to do is change the canvas size. Actually before we do that you want to make sure that your image here is not a background layer. Um, I've got it open as a smart object so it's not but if this here would said background rather than that you'd need to double click on it and then a little prompt would come up asking you to um, give the layer a name and then you just click OK on that and then it converts your background layer into a normal layer. I've got my background layer is already a normal layer here so I don't need to do that. So now we go to image, canvas size, we want the measurement here in inches and we want to set it to 2 by 2 inches because that is the same size as a 35 millimeter slide and the anchor we've got in the center and then we press OK I'm just going to hit Control and Naught to make sure that it fills the screen and now we've got a photo in the middle and the frame around it is the size, correct size for a slide frame um, and we don't want the gradient tool, what we want is the shape tool and we want the rounded rectangle tool And then up here we want fill, probably want that to be white, no stroke, radius, this will depend on, that's um, how rounded the corners are, so that will depend on how large your image is. Um, I'm going to try a 15 pixel radius here because I resized my image to 640 pixels. And then just dragging that out so that it fills up the screen. And that's going to be the main, that's going to be our slide. Now we can't see the image, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of the layer here. Going over to the shape layer again, now I want a rectangle tool. And here I'm going to draw a rectangle over the image to punch a hole through the slide where the image will show through. But what we want to do here is put exclude overlapping shapes. Uh, 
and then click and drag. And I'm just going to move that slightly, if I can, because I didn't put it quite on the... quite over the image. I think that should be about OK. And now let's put that back to 100%. And as you can see, we've now got our slide with a hole in the middle where the photo shows through. Now I'm just going to expand the canvas a bit more so you can see the slide shape better. So I'm going to image canvas size and it's going to set this to 3 by 3 inches. I'm going to hit Control and 0 on the keyboard to fit the screen. I'm going to create a solid colour don't need the layer mask. Put that down to the bottom of the layer stack so it's at the bottom. Now the rounded rectangle which is a slide. We want to add a bit of noise to that to give it a bit of texture so it looks more like a proper plastic slide. Um, there's two ways you can do this because you can't apply a noise filter which is how we're going to do it to a shape layer. So you can either convert it to a smart object and then you'll be able to run the noise filter on that or you can um, rasterize the layer and um, then you can run the noise filter on that. What I'm going to do is just going to duplicate the layer, hide our original and then rasterize it. And then we go up to filter, noise add noise and the amount of noise you'll want to add depends on how large your image is. Uh, for this size image I think 5% is looking quite good. So it's gonna oh, the important things here is um, as well as the amount is distribution should be Gaussian and you want it to be monochromatic. And you can see here it's just giving a sort of a speckled effect like speckled plastic to our slide. Um, at the moment it still doesn't look that great but when we add a drop shadow, so I'm just going down to the effects here and then drop shadow and as you can see I've got my layer selected here. And I'm just going to change the angle of the light slightly. reduce the distance slightly. So you might just want to play with those a little bit. Again the settings here will depend on how large your image is as to sort of how much spread and um, the size and that sort of thing you want. So it's going to click OK on that and as you can see that looks quite like a slide now. Um, one last thing you might want to do is to add some text to your slide. Font is possibly a bit too big there. Um, it's quite good to use a handwriting font, I think, because um, then it looks a bit like you've written a note on the slide like you would do in real life. So. bigger actually. Maybe bigger still. And I quite like to tilt the text a little bit because if you uh, were writing on a slide in real life it's unlikely you would write it exactly straight on. And I'll maybe move that, oops, moving the slide there. Move the text down a little bit. And there you've got your um, slide with your um, photo in it. Um, other things you might want to do is you can get rid of the um, white colour background layer if you want. Uh, you might want to crop it down. Uh, 
Um, the important thing is if you want to save it like this with the drop shadow behind it then you need to save it as a PNG file otherwise it doesn't record the transparency in the background. Um, but I think that's it really.